Self-proclaimed royal insider Joshua Johnston claims to have uncovered discrepancies in Meghan Markle's birth documentation. The allegations suggest that the Duchess of Sussex's widely known birth date of August 4, 1981, might be inaccurate, potentially raising questions about her identity and background. Johnston, who runs a popular royal commentary channel, presented what he calls compelling evidence during his latest video broadcast. The documentation I've reviewed shows inconsistencies that cannot be ignored, Johnston declared to his 500,000 subscribers. This could explain why some aspects of the Duchess's past have remained mysteriously under wraps. The controversial claims have reignited discussions about Meghan's pre-royal life, with royal watchers and critics alike diving deep into publicly available records from her time in California. Some observers point to variances in how her age was reported in early acting credits and school records, though these claims remain unsubstantiated. Former royal staff member Margaret Henderson, name changed for privacy, weighed in on the controversy. During my time at the palace, there were always whispers about inconsistencies in her background checks. This latest revelation, if proven true, would explain why certain documents were handled with unusual discretion. The timing of these allegations coincides with growing tensions between the Sussexes and the royal family. Critics suggest this could be another blow to Prince Harry who has steadfastly defended his wife against various accusations since their relationship became public in 2016. Social media has erupted with speculation, with hashtag Meghan birth certificate trending on multiple platforms. Royal commentator Patricia Whitmore notes, the implications of these allegations are serious. A birth certificate is a fundamental legal document. Any discrepancy would raise questions about other aspects of her documentation. The controversy has also sparked debate about the thoroughness of royal background checks. The House of Windsor has always prided itself on maintaining impeccable standards, says royal historian Dr. James Carlton. If these allegations hold any truth, it would represent a significant oversight in the vetting process. Supporters of the Duchess have dismissed the claims as another attempt to discredit her, pointing out the lack of concrete evidence. However, Johnston insists more revelations are forthcoming. This is just the tip of the iceberg, he claimed in his viral video. The public deserves to know the truth about who really joined the royal family. The palace has maintained its characteristic silence on the matter, though sources suggest private investigations may be underway. Legal experts note that any falsification of official documents would have serious implications, potentially affecting everything from her marriage certificate to her children's birth records. Celebrity biographer Sarah Matthews, who has written extensively about the royal family, suggests these claims could explain certain behavioral patterns. If someone were hiding aspects of their identity, it might explain the extreme privacy measures and the reluctance to engage with certain members of the press or family. While the truth behind these allegations remains unclear, the controversy has added another layer of complexity to the ongoing saga of the Sussexes' relationship with the British royal family. With Prince Harry's continued defense of his wife against what he terms media attacks, these new claims place additional strain on already tense family relations. As this story develops, royal watchers await concrete evidence to either substantiate or disprove these serious allegations. Meanwhile, the Duchess of Sussex's representatives have yet to comment on these claims, maintaining their usual policy of not responding to what they consider baseless accusations. Whether these allegations prove true or false, they highlight the intense scrutiny faced by those who marry into the royal family and the ongoing fascination with Meghan Markle's background. As one royal insider noted, in the world of monarchy, truth eventually surfaces, it's just a matter of time. The story began to unravel when Joshua, a close confidant of the royal family, came forward with startling evidence. Joshua, who has been a trusted source within the royal inner circle, revealed that Meghan's birth certificate had been tampered with, casting doubt on her true age and background. This revelation has thrown the royal family into disarray, with many questioning the authenticity of Meghan's claims and her motives for deceiving the public. Meghan Markle, who rose to fame as an actress on the popular television show Suits, married Prince Harry in a lavish ceremony in 2018. The couple's whirlwind romance captivated the world, and their wedding was hailed as a modern fairy tale. However, the recent allegations have cast a dark shadow over their relationship, with many wondering if Prince Harry was aware of the deception or if he, too, was kept in the dark. The controversy surrounding Meghan's birth certificate has reignited long-standing tensions between the Duchess and the royal family. Since her marriage to Prince Harry, Meghan has been the subject of intense scrutiny and criticism. Her outspoken nature and willingness to challenge royal traditions have made her a polarizing figure within the royal family and among the British public.
The allegations of a falsified birth certificate have added fuel to the fire, with critics accusing Meghan of manipulating the public and the royal family for her own gain. Some have even suggested that the deception was part of a larger plan to secure her place within the royal family and enhance her public image. The scandal has also raised questions about the integrity of the royal family and their ability to vet potential spouses. The fact that such a significant deception could go undetected for so long has led many to question the thoroughness of the royal family's background checks and the level of trust placed in their advisors. In the wake of the revelations, the royal family has remained tight-lipped, refusing to comment on the allegations. However, sources close to the family have indicated that they are taking the matter seriously and are conducting an internal investigation into the claims. The investigation is expected to focus on the authenticity of Meghan's birth certificate and the circumstances surrounding its alleged falsification. Meanwhile, Meghan and Prince Harry have retreated from the public eye, with the couple reportedly seeking refuge in their California home. The scandal has put a strain on their relationship, with sources close to the couple indicating that Prince Harry is deeply troubled by the allegations and is seeking answers from his wife. The controversy has also reignited debates about the role of the media in the lives of the royal family. Critics have accused the media of sensationalizing the story and contributing to the public's distrust of the royal family. However, others have argued that the media has a responsibility to hold public figures accountable and to uncover the truth, no matter how uncomfortable it may be. As the investigation into Meghan's birth certificate continues, the royal family and the public are left to grapple with the implications of the scandal. The revelations have raised serious questions about the integrity of the royal family and the lengths to which individuals will go to secure their place within it. For Meghan Markle, the scandal represents a significant blow to her public image and her relationship with the royal family. The allegations of deception have cast a dark shadow over her marriage to Prince Harry and her role as a member of the royal family. As the investigation unfolds, many are left to wonder what other secrets Meghan may be hiding and what the future holds for the embattled Duchess. In the meantime, the royal family and the public are left to wait for the results of the investigation and the truth about Meghan's birth certificate. The scandal has served as a stark reminder of the complexities of royal life and the challenges faced by those who enter into it. As the royal family grapples with the fallout from the scandal, they are left to ponder the lessons learned and the steps they must take to restore public trust and maintain the integrity of the monarchy. The story of Meghan Markle's alleged deception is a cautionary tale of the dangers of deceit and the consequences of betraying the public's trust. As the royal family and the world await the outcome of the investigation, they are left to reflect on the importance of honesty, transparency, and the values that underpin the monarchy. The scandal has served as a wake-up call for the royal family and a reminder of the need to uphold the highest standards of integrity and accountability. In the end, the truth about Meghan's birth certificate will be revealed, and the royal family and the public will be left to grapple with the consequences of her actions. The scandal has served as a stark reminder of the complexities of royal life and the challenges faced by those who enter into it. As the royal family and the world await the outcome of the investigation, they are left to ponder the lessons learned and the steps they must take to restore public trust and maintain the integrity of the monarchy. The story of Meghan Markle's alleged deception is a cautionary tale of the dangers of deceit and the consequences of betraying the public's trust. As the royal family and the world await the outcome of the investigation, they are left to reflect on the importance of honesty, transparency, and the values that underpin the monarchy.